don't have and don't do these seven things, God hates them. God is gracious, long-suffering, full of mercy, and abounding in love. Yet there are some things that God hates. We must particularly pay attention to the seriousness of these things. We are supposed to like what God likes and hate what God hates. Seven things the Lord hates. These seven things are found in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19. Number one, a proud look. Pride is not the nature of Christ. Pride is anything that exalts itself equal to God or greater than God. God wants us to check this nature, that one to exalt itself. Have you heard the saying, he looked down on me? Pride is that nature that looks down on some other person. Pride try to lower the importance, reputation, and dignity of others whilst elevating itself. Pride is the oldest sin in the Bible. It was pride that brought Lucifer down and made him Satan the devil. The Bible says, Pride goes before destruction and a haunted spirit before a fall. Proverbs 16 verse 18. It says, Those who walk in pride, he's able to put down. And again, the Bible says, Behold, I am against you, O most haunty one. Jeremiah 50 verse 31. Pride keeps people from coming to Christ. What will my friends say if I become a Christian? So will I stop doing all the dirty stuff I do when I finally give my life to Christ? What will become of my reputation if I become a Christian? There is no instance in the Bible where a prideful person ever succeeded. Jesus said, And whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. The entrance to the kingdom of heaven is gained through your coming in in humility. Number two, a lying tongue. God hates a lying tongue. The flagrant sins of fraud, embezzlement, slander, libel, and breach of promise are the products of a lying heart. Where does all this come from? Our Lord Jesus Christ addressing the people of his day said, You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar, and the father of it. Jesus said you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. People who are liars easily hate people who tell the truth. If you are someone who likes to lie, God wants to set you free. Embrace the Lord Jesus and be free. God spoke to Jeremiah and told him that some prophets were prophesying lies in his name. And the Lord said to me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I have not sent them, commanded them, nor spoken to them. They prophesy to you a false vision, divination, a worthless thing, and the deceit of their heart. Lies come from the deceit of the heart of man. If you are a believer, the Bible says, Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Ephesians 4 verse 25 
Number three, hands that share innocent blood. The same commandment says you shall not murder. God hates murder, and more so when it has to do with an innocent person. We are supposed to be our brother's keeper and not our brother's killer. God came to Cain after he killed his brother Abel and asked him, Where is your brother Abel? And Cain responded to him, Am I my brother's keeper? Abel's innocent blood was crying against Cain. We must not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and killed his brother. And why did he kill him? Because Cain had been doing what was evil, and his brother had been doing what was righteous. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Murder can be committed in many ways. You can murder your wife, your children, and your friends by the poisonous venom of hatred and bitterness. Not all murderers are behind bars. It so happens that only those who kill the body are punished by the law. But many who are free are just as guilty of destroying their lives, their personalities, and the souls of others. The Bible says that you can strike someone with your tongue. Jeremiah 18 verse 18. You can ruin another person's reputation. God holds such people accountable for murder. Number four, a heart that devises evil plans. God hates an evil imagination. Since the fall of man, the Bible says, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Genesis 6 verse 5. God has advised us to guard our heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. An evil imagination leads to an evil action, and an evil action leads to bondage, and bondage leads to death. Every wrong habit developed as a result of an evil imagination. Fornication, adultery, and all other kinds of sin come from a wrong imagination. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. God wants us to change the kind of thoughts we have. The world have their own imaginations, but God wants us to have an imagination that is in line with His good, acceptable, and perfect will. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, He says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Number five, feet that are swift in running to evil. God hates feet that are swift in running to mischief. Evil thoughts and imagination, if nourished and fed, will eventually lead to sinful actions. There are people in every community who openly and flagrantly violate God's law. They boast that they are not hypocrites and they make no pretense of being good. But this does not excuse them for their wickedness. Number six, a false witness who speaks lies. The ninth commandment says you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not circulate a false report. Do not put your hand with the wicked to 
be an unrighteous witness. Number seven, God is one who sows discord among brethren. We seldom hear the slanderer, the libeller, or the malicious gossip denounced. We have come to think that it is a harmless thing to sow discord in the office, the shop, the church, or the home. But the Bible says that God hates discord and strongly denounces those who so strive. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And the Bible says, if anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. James 1 verse 26. But you say, I am guilty of all these, man of God. What can I do? The Bible says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ. Repent of your ways today and accept the Lord Jesus into your life and you will receive forgiveness of sins and you will become a brand new man. May God bless you as you change your ways in Jesus' name. Amen.